Hello there. Welcome to a new tutorial video of Doc365. Today, we are going to show you how to create and organize your actions using a scope in Power Automate. As we all know, while creating large flows with a long list of actions, it is very complicated to sort your actions. By sorting similar actions or actions that come under same category or cause, you can avoid your flows from becoming complicated. Here is how you can do it. I'm in my start page of Power Automate platform right now. So uh, click on my flows and you can see all my uh, flows that are created here. So each of them have uh, different uh, reasons or costs behind them. They have uh, different purposes too. So let's uh, uh, take a look at the first flow and see the scopes I have using that. So this is the scope, oh, sorry, this is the uh, flow I am choosing and click on the edit icon over here so that it will open in the or edit more. So here you can see how uh, the trigger and also uh, the two scopes I have created. There are actually four actions in this uh, uh, particular flow. Uh, two of them as related to uh, Outlook, Office 365 Outlook, and two of them are uh, planner actions. So what I have done is I have actually created two scopes to uh, make them uh, grouped so that I can easily understand uh, which of the actions come under the same category and uh, which are the others. So the first scope is all about alerts. So uh, these two actions are uh, regarding alerting the right people about a particular uh, action or event and the second uh, scope consists of actions that are actually reactions to the uh, events or activities that are triggering this uh, flow to create a new flow oh, sorry to create a new scope all you need is to click on the plus new uh, step option over here click on it and search scope and choose uh, the scope option from the actions here is it scope control so this is how you can create a new scope and uh, you can add actions to it by clicking on the add an action option over here so uh, like you uh, create other actions you can search for the uh, process or service first which is related to the type of action you are creating. I am choosing SharePoint here. So let's uh, choose any of the um, actions just for a tutorial purpose. So let's choose a list folder. So um, choose the site address, the file identifier, create by user, create by user ID, or I would say chat title. So uh, you have now created an action inside a scope here. So another thing you can do is to uh, drag and drop actions from another uh, scopes. And uh, another thing you can do is you can rename uh, the sc uh, scope as, uh, you, as you do for actions too. So let's uh, rename this, click on rename and let's see the final. You can uh, rename the scope as well as add a note if you uh, think it's important. The last steps. So uh, it works the same way you do uh, it for the actions. So it, it makes the uh, process a lot more easier. Actually, these uh, the scope functionality works uh, more effectively when you are creating large flows with a very long list of actions. There are more than uh, 10, 20 or 30 actions in a uh, particular flow. It 
it becomes very difficult to understand uh, which of the flows comes under the same uh, process of course and if, if they are uh, left in a mixed way it will be very difficult to sort in case if you wish to uh, make any changes to the flow later if you are using a scope to organize all your actions inside a flow it becomes very easy for you to uh, make changes to a flow or uh, you you will be able to do or take over uh, new uh, upgrades and updates very easily it will also becomes very easy to understand um, the functions of a flow in a single view as uh, the each scope title will be a descriptive can be made descriptive so it, it becomes a lot more user friendly actually uh, that's how a scope can be intelligently used in a flow to make it sensible and effective uh, see you in another interesting video soon have a great day